If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We're going to begin by drawing a picture that represents the information given. So initially, an electron is fired and it's infinitely far away from the other two electrons. Because it's infinitely far away from the other two electrons, that means that the only energy present would be the kinetic energy. The electron then moves from infinity and ends up coming to rest directly between two other electrons. Now, because it comes to rest, of course, the final velocity will be zero. That means there is no longer any kinetic energy, but there is electrical potential energy. And it turns out that there's electrical potential energy between these two electrons, as well as between those two electrons. So we have to combine those two electrical potential energies. We know the electrical potential energy is given by this equation here. We would just have to set it up two times. Again, once for this pair of electrons, and then once for this pair of electrons. Because the Q's are both electrons, we can drop the subscripts. Now R represents the distance between the two charges. We can see from our diagram that that has been labeled as D divided by two, where D is the given distance in the question. So we're gonna replace the R's with D divided by two. Algebraically, we can then move the two to the numerator in both cases. We can also multiply the Q's to make Q squared. Finally, to get the overall final electrical potential energy, we can just add these two together. Now, according to the energy conservation principle, we can take this final electrical potential energy and set it equal to the initial kinetic energy. We'll then solve this equation for the initial velocity, V0. We'll multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by m, and then finally take the square root of both sides. We can then plug in the known values. Remember that K is a constant, Q is the charge of an electron, M is the mass of the electron, and then D was that distance that the two electrons were separated by. Notice that we converted the D into the standard unit of meters by multiplying by 10 to the minus 2. And when you calculate that, you should get approximately 3.2 times 10 to the positive 2, and the unit for the velocity, of course, is meters per second. That is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. You're welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.